I'm with Fred Samara. His Princeton team just won their third consecutive Peps Men's Championship here at Cornell. It was pretty close meet though, wasn't it, Fred? It was a tremendously close meet, very competitive. To be honest with you, last night before bed, I worked out the totals. I had us losing by about 20 to 25 points. When we had the team meeting, I told them that we're in it. We got to fight for every point. And our guys showed an amazing amount of heart and courage, uh, particularly Russell Dickens, who pulled the hamstring in the last part of the 4x4 four four and finished it off. Every guy on our team did a phenomenal job to win this. Well, let's go back to that 4x4. Four four. After all, the situation was you were 10 points ahead. So you have to at least get sixth place. So what are you thinking when Dickens suddenly pulls up a little bit? Well, it goes back to the little meeting I had with the 4x4 four four before the race. I said, look, good stick passes. Don't do anything stupid. I never thought that there'd be a hamstring pull. But when he went, the immediate thing I thought was, oh, my God, it's going to be a tie. <laughs> and But we really prevailed. In the game. He was tough. The relay was tough. Were there any any other particular races today that stand out uh, that were uh, that were turning points for your team? I think the turning point for our team was guys like Trevor Van Akron and Joe Stillen doubling and tripling in their events and showing amazing amount of courage and heart to run. Peter Callahan, who's had an injury, uh, hasn't been training much. I ran 402 on the anchor leg. Of he the brought DM. you from way back in that DM, oh, right? From way back. That was huge. But as I said before, we had 33 guys, and truly, they all compete at the highest level. You can go and look at every event to see that we had kids coming through. And that's the only way you're going to win. It's the only way you're going to beat, beat a great team like Cornell at their site. Okay. Congratulations, Fred. Thank you so much.